Hello everyone, I'm Impact Frames and in this video I'm gonna show you the Impact Frames Prom Maker. This is an extension for Automatic 11.11 and it uses UbaBuga Web UI, which is a text generation web UI similar to Stable Diffusion, which is an image generation AI. This is for large language models like ChatGPT, but they are running on your computer. They are called local LLMs. Yeah, that's a large language models. And as you can see here, I already have made quite a few videos about UbaBuga. I don't gonna explain it, but you have the characters and the characters are special for some tasks. For example, this one makes coding things. This is a hacker character. These are medics. They give health advice and this one makes this one makes stories. These are for making pictures for a stable diffusion. This one is by another creator. All the other ones are by me, but except this one. Those really cool images like my uh, characters. And then I have Yuka, which is my AI girlfriend. I make a video about it. <laughs> yeah, I have no shame. No. Okay. <clears throat> Then you can see my stable diffusion is a bit different because it's using Nevisho's Cozy Nest. And you can get this in the GitHub. You can support her on coffee. It's a super cool extension. Mine you can get here from my GitHub too or my coffee page. It's also available. You just have to unzip it in the stable diffusion extensions or you can just get this kit. Stable diffusion, go to extensions, install from URL. And here you just put it here and install. I'm going to try to request to put it in the JSON list. So it will be available maybe on the scripts or in the prompts. And then you can just apply restore the UI and it will be in here in the scripts. So you move into the scripts and it will be here at the bottom in the scripts. If prom maker, you select it there and yeah. So as you can see, this is the only prompt it needs really. It only needs the first prompt. But if you want to make really cool images, maybe you need to be more, have more control. So I made this update so you can select the characters here. You can select any of these variations. I'm using the non safe for work, but because I have also these excluding words here, you just have to type it here, naked, nudity, and then because they are case sensitive, you need to just put it in capitals because sometimes this comes up in capitals or mini schools or whatever this is the thing. And in here you can select any of these pre-made pre-prompts and you set the no text or inversion negatives. So in this one, it will be no, uh, no negatives unless you add it, right? So, for example, if you want to add something here, said I want to add another Lore, I might add this Lore. Let's see. Mm. Say so that I want this OC Lore, and I'm gonna add it with 0.7. I won't need this anymore, the other ones, I just can't delete them. And as you can see, I got the, by selecting one here, I got the trigger word and also I got the, the LoRa that I want to use. You say, if I want to add an embedding, I can just do a style princess and it will be here, the trigger word. I don't want the style princess, I just want this. <clears throat> and in here, I just gonna put beautiful female, dark skin. I don't gonna put Asian forest, I don't need the forest. I'm gonna put mystical forest here in the prompt and in here I'm gonna put pink hair and uh, no cat cat ears cat ears and cat tail cat tail is not gonna be a wolf girl but cat girl <laughs> cat girl warrior yes mystical forest maybe uh, yeah a full shot perhaps no let's leave it like a portrait sorry portrait <clears throat> okay so now i have my prom made and i just gonna 
select here and put in 640 by 960. This particular mold need a bit more steps than other molds, but it's quite fast, so it doesn't matter if it's up like 268. And this is the run diffusion FX 2.5. So I'm just gonna select 68 here, eight pictures, and let me see what I else I need to change. Maybe I'm just gonna leave it like this and generate. So and now it's gonna start sending the prompt to Uba Booga. And as you can see here, this is like my past things. Because it's only one pass, no high restore for the face or anything, it's coming like this. But still it's like very cool quality, like super high. And now you can see like it's producing my cat girl now. With the cat ears. I end up playing with the stable diffusion from here on, so I just want to speed up the video and let you see what I did like in 30 minutes of video. And I'm going to talk a bit about the prompts and if you are using embeddings and loras and all of that all together in the mix, is it may be wise not to use everything at the same time. Like maybe you can start with only one and see if that LoRa works well with your mold that you are using because sometimes the LoRa's or textual inversions are made for one particular mold. Sometimes they are meant to be using like lesser strength and you don't know which strength they, they are using. And useful thing to do is go in, into CVTI and look into the galleries and see the galleries for the mold, see maybe what weights they are using maybe if, if an image is something that you think is striking maybe try to replicate it in say stable diffusion you have many tools like control neck that i'm using now you can see that you can guide the picture the pose is all the time the same one thing that I want to do is get like the batch count and make a different prompt for each picture. Have an option there that you can have a different picture. That's something that is coming into this plugin. And also want to listen what you want to see in this. Maybe what you are using it for. And if you have any tricks that you want to share. And yeah. As you can see here, I had I made the mistake of mixing too many things and it wasn't coming like the thing I wanted. I wanted the demoness and I was getting more like the Boris Vallejo textual inversion, but I was. And that one was coming really strong, despite the thing not being like even in the front of the prompt. Yeah. So you can see how many different molds have different weights and you can see that so this one that even appears too strong is it was like totally overpowered by the Boris Vallejo one. And this one is I think Metal Hurland or something like that. It's a French thing. <laughs> I love this one. It's so good. It's like a metal, heavy metal style comic. And he had like a, also, yes, the comics, the French comics is so good. And I tried to make a Conan the Barbarian and it was getting like a super strong woman that he can kill you with one kiss. <laughs> Probably not that I wanted Conan the Barbarian and he is coming here. So you can really make your imagination fly with this. You can just start prompting things. And if you are like into RPGs or stories, like if you like to read books about science fiction, and this will be cool to bring all those characters to life like really quickly. I hope you like the video and I've been playing here for half an hour. I hope uh, you find it useful. I'm gonna try to improve the characters to make more things. Like at the moment they are like geared towards female, <laughs> geared towards female outputs. And maybe I need to make it more for landscapes and cars and things like that. I might add something more or maybe I will just improve the thing I have. Okay, so 
like the video and subscribe if you want to keep seeing more things like this and thank you for watching bye bye